at the foundation of four initial signings for the Greenhawks and Adam. Um, let me also first introduce, uh, for those of you that don't know, Adam Danzis is our general manager. And this is, uh, Adam's been with me almost since day one. Um, young man that came, he was at Wooten High School, just had graduated and came. And when you look for a right hand in any business, those of you that are business people, you find it, then you're fortunate. So, first of all, let me start uh, on the far end there uh, with uh, Travis Lake. Travis, if you stand up. Uh, Travis comes to us from American University. A lot of local folks remember Travis when they made the run of the Sweet 16. Well, Travis was part of that great team. Um, he's at Bullis High School. He's a local boy. And uh, last year he played over in England. And we're fortunate to have him not only as a player, but again as another young man. So, Adam, if you can give Travis his first Green Hawks jersey there. Number right. seven. Next to Travis on Travis's right to my left uh, is a gentleman who actually two seasons ago when we played here in Maryland, he came in with a team from Rockford and virtually destroyed us. I think he had 30 points and 20 rebounds or something with those numbers. Daniel Artest Daniel has played pro ball for many seasons around. Uh, he is his own young man. He also happens to be the brother of Los Angeles Lakers uh, player Ron Artest. He's another one of these young men who does things right, and we are very proud and very fortunate to have on our team this year, Daniel Artest. Thanks for having me, by the way. I really appreciate it. It was actually 20 points and 9 rebounds. <laughs> 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 well, if you had it correct, it sounds like it. Who's counting? But it was efficient, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not going to go on the phone. Two to the right of Daniel uh, is another young man who happened. Again, we're fortunate enough he's living in the area now. Um, and he and Byron certainly had their battles. Uh, Scooter, Cheryl Scooter comes to us from uh, North Carolina State, another Division I uh, ACC product. Uh, has played a few years overseas at a very high level in Europe and just a phenomenal basketball player. And, and there may be those of you in this room, if you have kids in the county, uh, Scooter works with one of the uh, programs, the I-270, uh, I-290 um, youth programs. And you know, since we've kind of had the release, I've had tons of emails saying, Scooter's coach my son, and just, again, another phenomenal young man. Scooter Sheldon. Certainly not least uh, to my left, and probably in this state needs uh, no introduction. Um, and in fact, PBL every year we do a, a draft at the ESPN Zone in Chicago. And this year, our first pick, the third selection, uh, was uh, our, our local boy by way of college, uh, Byron Mouton. Who those of you, I don't have to say it, the uh, the only championship uh, NCAA championship for the University of Maryland, my alma mater. Uh, 2002, uh, and this was a large part of the reason that team won it. Since then, Byron has played at uh, every level in Europe, uh, professionally, uh, and in the States as well. He is just one of these young men you meet who not only did he succeed on the court and continues to do, but he succeeds off the court. And, you know, we're just, I can't tell you how thrilled we are to have him. And it's, uh, I think it's our first player off the 2002 team to come to the so Byron moved on. Cleaner air, 
you know, clean the streets. You know, I'm just all for it. You know, I mean, I'm just, I'm just glad to be here to have opportunity to play basketball and, you know, anything for, you know, the good. I'm for it. Uh, actually, that's one thing that actually attracted me to the Green uh, You know, with the whole uh, I mean, morning, morning, uh, global warming, and uh, you know, Adam, especially Adam, he does a great job. A lot of people out, out there don't know what Adam does for this for this organization, every team. He 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 has like five heads. He has none on today, but he has about five heads. And, uh, you know, I really appreciate Adam because he really convinced me to be a part of his organization. And when he told me that the Mel Nighthawks is changed to be green and, uh, you know, going into schools, talking about growing and warming, talking to the kids about recycling because, you know, it's funny because, uh, you know, I went to Puerto Rico uh, this past weekend and it's 90 degrees <coughs> and I called back uh, before I come back on uh, Monday, it's 75 degrees. And, you know, this time of year, my first time here was seven years ago. When I first came to Maryland, the first time I ever seen snow. I'm from Louisiana, I've never seen snow before. <laughs> you know, at this same time of year. And now it's 75 degrees. You know, this whole global warming, and, you know, polluting our air, and changing the climate, changing the temperature, you know, and Adam's great message, and Tom was a great message in introducing this. Nighthawks is going into schools and talking about uh, the old me, talk about the kids, about education, and uh, like I say, he didn't mention to it, but I do a lot of stuff after school programs. I work with kids. I give back since I stopped playing ball like five years ago and then convinced me to play again. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just so appreciative to come back. I love still playing basketball and going out and talking to kids about the old grown woman. And uh, I'm just excited to be here. It's like cool. I'm saying it's bigger than basketball. It's way bigger than basketball. I love playing, and when I'm going to play, I'm going to play hard. I'm going to win the championship. That's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's not the thing. You know, we out here to convince the kids to recycle and education. And uh, basketball is easy to me. That's not for me to win the championship. That's the point of life. But to go out and try to convince these kids, like I said, it's a whole different generation than to convince these kids to do the right thing. And uh, we all hear positive people, and I think we're going to deliver positive measures on the court and off the court. Travis, <clears throat> I think if we can, uh, I think if we can use basketball to kind of reach these kids, then that's, um, that's an admirable goal. Um, it's through basketball, and they might not, might not think that in mind the environment or recycling or anything is like a priority, but if they see it through us on the court, they see it where you know the team, then we'll make it more of a priority like, in their lives. And, the way they live. I think that if we can do that, then our goal is Um the, the greatest thing about talking last is uh, you get to think, you get more time to think about what you want to say. <laughs> but um, the bad thing about it is these guys have spoken and <laughs> said every word I want to say. So, uh, I mean, there's really nothing else to be said. I mean, but to hit on what Travis was saying, um, just um, to, to use basketball, you know, I've worked with kids for a long time, you know, for a while, and I still do today. And um, to be a positive role model in their lives, to use basketball, to be the basketball, which a lot of kids want today, to, uh, to show them that the positive message in you know, life, you know, it's, it's a great thing. And uh, so, you know, like you saw me saying, we can go out there and, you know, as the players and everything, I go on the court just to win the championship. That's only how it happened. No games for hours to hours to It's a 24 hour day. So, what are we going to do in less than 23 hours? To show kids that we can have a positive impact. So, for the Green Hawks, I thank you, Tom, Adam, you know, for the opportunity. We're going to try to make it, you know, make it a fun experience.